hello guys welcome back to my channel so i missed all the valentine episode um period on this channel i couldn't update on all those valentine period and z what has already passed there so i thought to even do it but i won't be able to meet up so that is why i decided to start from here please keep watching rishi and lakshmi are dancing along with others at the wedding party malishka gets angry and says lakshmi is sticking to my rishi and she will not leave her doings a song plays in the background as Lakshmi and Rishi dance. The girl Malishka was talking to comes there and dances with Rishi. Lakshmi goes away from there and Malishka signals to her to go and start dancing with Rishi. The matchmaker asks Araf to talk to Lakshmi. Araf says you know about my divorce and says that Harun Dati and my marriage was arranged one. Everything was good in the start and then he says he likes action movies but Harun Dati likes animated movies. He says we used to watch movies together, but everything changed. Araf looks at Arun Dati and tells Lakshmi that Arun Dati hates boxing. Lakshmi then asks Araf that why did he call her there when he is talking about Arun Dati? Lakshmi says if you are not interested to marry me, then why did you call me? And says you don't respect women, and that is why your wife left you. Arun Dati comes there and tries to defend Araf in front of Lakshmi. Lakshmi says you are his ex-wife and she asks that why are you coming between us? Araf says Arun Dati doesn't know that you came here for marriage talk and Lakshmi says she is divorced. So why is she coming in between she and her ex-husband? Arun Dati says to Lakshmi that she doesn't bear it if anyone talks to Araf like that. Lakshmi asks Araf to ask Arun Dati to leave. Araf requests Lakshmi not to talk like that. Lakshmi says I understand and says next time I will slap you. Arun Dati says, how dare you to talk to Arav like that and says, I will not spare you. Lakshmi realized that Arav and Arun Dati still loves each other. So Lakshmi says to Arun Dati that first, think of why you left Arav and says, I'm sorry that I talked to you like this. She says, you both are separated, but you think about each other so much and says, you are separated, but you are still connected by art and this means that you still love each other. Lakshmi says to Arav that Arun Dati has your photo in her phone and since you came here, you are talking about just Arun Dati. Lakshmi asks Arun Dati and Arav to look at each other honestly and says if you see each other in their heart, then they will find themselves at the same place. Lakshmi asks Arav to talk to Arun Dati and clear the misunderstandings. She says you both love each other, so think of marrying each other again. Karishma asks Nilam why the matchmaker haven't called yet. Nilam says Arav and Rishi are of today's era. There is no guarantee that they will face the marriage today. Karishma says Lakshmi should go away from their house first. And Nilam says I am doing this for Lakshmi so that she can live from here. Araf and Arun Dati announce that they have decided to marry each other again. And Araf's grandma asks really. Arun Dati says yes, we have separated but we couldn't separate from art. She says we will remarry. Araf says the credit for her decision goes to Lakshmi. He says Lakshmi met him for their marriage. But Lakshmi set his life with his ex-wife again. Rishi says, well done Lakshmi, you have set everyone's life. Malishka gets angry and thinks that this is Lakshmi's trick to be with Rishi. Araf and Arun Dati ask Rishi and Lakshmi to remarry again and says Lakshmi is a gem. Rishi says, yes, Lakshmi is a gem. Araf asks, why don't you both get married again? Rishi and Lakshmi look on and Malishka gets angry. At the Obre house, Grandma is sitting in the in-house temple and she tells Devika that she wanted to sing bhajan and that is why she came. She says, I started singing bhajan but suddenly, I felt that God signals to me that today will be the biggest day of Lakshmi's life. Grandma says, surely, something big is going to happen with Lakshmi and she hopes that it will be something good. Araf says to Rishi that you are getting your ex-wife married and that is why it is clear that your relationship is strong with her. He says, maybe even you have divorced in a hurry and says, I feel that your relationship is very deep and you should be a couple again and says, good alliance cannot be found these days and he asks Rishi to get married to Lakshmi again. Malishka gets angry and says to Arav that I will tell you why Rishi cannot marry Lakshmi and says it is because Rishi is marrying me. Rishi says, yes, Arav, my marriage is fixed with Malishka. Arav says, I am sorry and he congratulates them. Arun Dati says, we thought that even Rishi and Lakshmi might be doing the same mistakes that we did and she apologized to Malishka. Arun Dati asks Malishka that when is her marriage? Malishka says after a month and says she would invite them. 
Araf's grandma comes there and makes Lakshmi half sweet for uniting Araf and Arundhati. Lakshmi says, I have seen love in their eyes. Araf gives it to Malishka and Rishi. Malishka makes Rishi eat the sweet and takes a piece from his mouth and she eats it and Lakshmi gets sad. Araf's grandma asks everyone to come and see Araf and Arundhati's wedding round and she asks them not to go yet. Malishka owed Rishi's hand and asks him to come and they sit at the table to watch the wedding round and Rishi signals at Lakshmi to also come and sit. Rishi thinks that Lakshmi is really a diamond because she thinks about others' happiness first and he thinks that Lakshmi should get a life partner who will keep her happy and she should not even get one tear in her eyes. Lakshmi goes to the washroom and asks that why do I get odd whenever Rishi and Malishka's marriage talk happens or when they get closer and she gets emotional. Lakshmi says to herself that why am I not understanding it? She says I should be away from Rishi and she tells herself that Rishi and her are two sides of a river which can never be one. She says Rishi and Malishka love each other and she asks herself to understand this. She says Rishi should marry Malishka because he is just for Malishka. Rishi looks for Lakshmi and he gets restless. Lakshmi cries in the bathroom. Malishka asks Rishi whom he is searching for and Rishi says Lakshmi. Malishka says Lakshmi is not a child and she asks him to take care of her and think about only Malishka because he is getting married to her. Lakshmi collides with a guy and she falls on the lampstand. The lampstand sleeps and the curtain catches fire. Lakshmi doesn't see the fire and she keeps the stand properly and she goes to sit. Rishi sees Lakshmi returning and he gets relieved and he sits back. The couple's marriage that Rishi and Lakshmi came for started and Lakshmi imagines Rishi and Na taking the wedding round and getting married. Malishka also imagines herself taking the wedding round with Rishi and says whenever I see the bride and groom, then I imagine us getting married and she asks Rishi to get married to us soon. Lakshmi hears them and she gets sad. Suddenly, fire catches up the place because of the lamb that fell earlier, but nobody knows. The bride and groom complete the wedding round and complete the cinder and the wedding necklace ritual. Malishka gets Kiran's call and she goes to talk and the priest declares the bride and the groom as married. Kiran asks Malishka where she is. Malishka tells Kiran that she is with Rishi in the marriage and says it is good that she came because Lakshmi had planned to take Rishi somewhere but her plan couldn't be succeeded. Malishka says to Kiran that Rishi and I are happy and Kiran asks Malishka to take care and she ends the call. Suddenly, everyone sees the fire breaking out fast and everyone panics. Rishi asks the people not to panic and he asks Lakshmi that where is Malishka. Malishka comes back and she sees the fire and the decoration store falls on Malishka and Malishka faints. Rishi asks Lakshmi to save the people and take them out. Lakshmi says, but what about you? Rishi says he will bring Malishka. Araf tells Lakshmi that he would help her and take everyone out. Arundhati asks Lakshmi to come with them. Lakshmi says she will bring Rishi and others out and she asks them to go from the door and Rishi asks the people to have strength. Nilam thinks that the matchmaker Alka did not call her. Karishma comes there and calls Alka and she did not pick the call. And Karishma says Alka is strange. She is not picking the call. Nilam says she is responsible and she will call back so don't be impatient at the wedding hall. Rishi asks the people not to worry and he promised that everyone will be saved. A lady says, I don't want to die. I have small children. Lakshmi hears the lady and moves the pillar from the way and she asks everyone to go and everyone could go out safely. Rishi tells Lakshmi that Malishka is missing. Just then, Lakshmi sees the chandelier falling on Rishi and she shouted so Rishi gets saved but the pillar falls near Rishi. Rishi asks Lakshmi to search for Malishka and Lakshmi says I will search for her. Malishka is stuck under the falling chairs. Lakshmi comes there and moves the chairs and saves Malishka. Rishi sees something about to fall on Lakshmi and Malishka and Rishi shouted. Lakshmi pulls Malishka at the right time and Malishka asks if she is alive. Lakshmi says yes, nothing would happen to you. Malishka asks Lakshmi and cries for misunderstanding her and says that she always thought that Lakshmi would snatch Rishi from her. Malishka says you have given me a new life and Lakshmi pacifies Malishka and says we have to go away from here. Rishi calls Lakshmi and tells her that he is about to faint. The decoration store falls on Lakshmi's foot and she asks Malishka to go and save Rishi. Rishi asks Malishka to pick the rod and Malishka asks which one. Malishka sees the rod and she picks it 
but the rod is very hot, so Malishka drops it again and she takes the cloth and hold the rod. Malishka tries to use the rod to move something, but she drops it seeing something falling near her and she moves back and she asks Rishi to get up on his own and she cries. Lakshmi shouted Rishi. Rishi is about to faint and Lakshmi frees her stock foot and she gets up, recalling their marriage, so Lakshmi determined to save Rishi. Lakshmi tries to move the pillar from their way and Malishka asks Lakshmi to be careful. Lakshmi steps on the fire and she goes to Rishi and Malishka is shocked. Lakshmi owed Rishi and asks him to get up and she asks Malishka to give her water. Malishka finds a bottle of water and she throws it at Lakshmi and Lakshmi sprinkles the water on Rishi's face and she asks him to get up and says we have to go away from here. Rishi finally regains consciousness. Malishka asks Rishi to get up fast because the roof is about to fall. Rishi asks Lakshmi why did she come here and says she should have saved him from outside. Lakshmi says I have to come inside to save you. Rishi asks why do you save me always? I am not your husband so why do you risk your life for me? Lakshmi keeps the rod straight to stop the roof from falling down. Rishi asks how are we going to come out from here? A piece of the roof falls down on Lakshmi's head and Lakshmi faints. Malishka asks Rishi to come out with her and says that the fire brigade might have come by hearing the sound and they will save Lakshmi, but Rishi refused to go out. Rishi says, Lakshmi, I told you that I will give my heartbeat to save yours and says you should have let me die. You should have let me die. He lifts Lakshmi up and says her burnt feet. He comes out with Lakshmi and the fire brigade comes there to set off the fire and everyone comes out of the burning banquet hall, but Lakshmi is unconscious. Malishka is just always funny to me, waiting for the fire brigade to come and save Lakshmi. Did Lakshmi wait for fire brigade to come and save her when she was stuck in the fire? Anyways, thank you for watching. So we'll continue from here and I'll try as much as possible to make sure that we go far ahead of Z-Word. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like the video and share it. And I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.